Hey guys, Cameron here. Today I'm going to be ranking the top 5 strongest Genjutsu users in all of Naruto. Getting right into number 5, we have Itachi Uchiha. Now the reason Itachi got the number 5 spot is because of one of the most overpowered Genjutsu in the series called Tsukuyomi. In the illusion, Itachi has full control over what happens, and when the target is trapped in the Tsukuyomi, time moves slower compared to the outside world. The first time we see Itachi use a Tsukuyomi is in part 1 against Kakashi, where he tortures him for 3 days straight in the span of seconds. The effects of the Tsukuyomi were so bad for Kakashi that it put him in a coma that he only recovered from because of Tsunade, who was the greatest medical ninja in the world at this point in the series. And if this wasn't overpowered enough, Itachi is able to speed up time in the Tsukuyomi to the point where the target's brain completely overloads and causes them to die in real life, which we see him do to Izumi Uchiha in the novels. A lot of you might be thinking that surely a skilled victim of the Tsukuyomi can just break out of the Genjutsu before their brain dies of old age, but almost no one in the series should be able to do this because Itachi states that only someone with Uchiha blood and a Sharingan can break out of it, and the people that meet those qualifications after the Uchiha massacre can be counted on one hand. This statement is supported by Naruto saying that if B gets caught in Tsukuyomi, he's finished, despite perfect Jinjuriki supposedly being immune to Genjutsu. Now, I think it's kind of a stretch to say that Tsukuyomi would be able to work on six Paz characters that are in Uchiha, like Six Paz Sage Mode Naruto or DMS Kakashi, because Itachi had no idea that Six Paz level characters existed at the time, but non Uchiha characters like Hashirama, who are so ridiculously strong, would most likely be killed by Itachi Tsukuyomi, which makes the reason he got the number 5 spot very obvious. Topping Itachi at number 4, we have Shisui Uchiha. Shisui being a better Genjutsu user than Itachi is pretty blatant, since Itachi literally said that Shisui's Mangekyo ability, Kodo Matsukami, is the ultimate Genjutsu, which would mean that it's stronger than Tsukuyomi. The reason Kodo Matsukami is so deadly is because the user doesn't even realize that they're under a Genjutsu, so their actions get controlled by Shisui without them even knowing it. We see Kodo Matsukami get used twice in the series, with the first time being when Donzo uses it on Mifune during the Five Kage Summit, and the second time being when Itachi's crow uses it on himself to control his actions. Kodo Matsukami often gets downplayed because of how Mifune was able to break out of it right after he was told that he was in the Genjutsu, but this is most likely due to Donzo just being terrible at using it. This is supported by the fact that Itachi wasn't able to break out of it despite knowing he was in it and being way stronger than Mifune. So to sum it up, since Itachi says that Shisui's Kodo Matsukami is the ultimate Genjutsu and there's nothing to contradict it, that should mean that it's stronger than any Genjutsu that Itachi is aware of, which puts Shisui above him at number 4. Coming ahead of Shisui at number 3 is Jiraiya. I know that this is by far the most controversial placement on the list, considering I'm saying that Jiraiya is a better Genjutsu user than Itachi and Shisui, but trust me, if you hear me out, I'm sure you'll agree with him being this high on the list. The reason Jirai is this high on the list is because he can summon the two great sage toads who can use Frog Song. Frog Song is an auditory genjutsu that works by sealing the target's mind and body in an illusion, which lets Jiraiya finish them off in the real world. Frog Song is stated to be the most powerful genjutsu in the third data book, which was written by Kishimoto after the Tsukuyomi was already used multiple times in the series, meaning that Frog Song is stronger than Tsukuyomi, which makes Jiraiya a better genjutsu user than Itachi. Now, while this statement obviously puts Jiraiya over Itachi, it doesn't automatically put him over Shisui because, as I said earlier, Shisui is better Genjutsu than Itachi as well. However, I still decided to give Jiraiya the third spot over Shisui because Frog Song doesn't require eye contact and it's stated in the third data book to be able to affect any number of people as long as they are in hearing range, while Kodo Matsukami requires eye contact, which places Jiraiya above Shisui in terms of Genjutsu. While Jiraiya is an incredibly overpowered Genjutsu user, he still loses the second spot to Sasuke. Sasuke was so good at Genjutsu that he was able to place every tail beast under one at once with just a glance, which was so impressive that even the Sage of Six Paths, Hagoromo, was surprised at it. Keep in mind that controlling the Nine Tails on its own is considered an incredible feat that only Madara and Obito could pull off, so to casually put every tailed beast under a Genjutsu at once with seemingly little effort is ridiculous, and I don't even think I need to explain why this makes his Genjutsu stronger than everyone below him on the list. Finally, on top of the list of the strongest Genjutsu users is a draw between Three-Eyed Madara and Kaguya. These two characters are the strongest Genjutsu users because they have access to the infinite Tsukuyomi, which literally puts everyone on Earth in a dream that they can never wake up from. 
and the only person who was able to block the infinite Tsukuyomi when it was casted is Sasuke with his 6 paths enhanced Renegon and the Edo Tensei who are immune to it. Even 6 paths sage mode Naruto is susceptible to this Genjutsu, which is shown when Sasuke told him not to leave his Susanoo or else he would be affected by the infinite Tsukuyomi as well. This means that Edo Tensei aside, the only people who would be able to block the infinite Tsukuyomi are Sasuke, Madara, and Kaguya with every other character in the series being completely vulnerable to it, which makes Madara and Kaguya the strongest Genjutsu users in all of Naruto. Thanks for watching the video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to click the video on the end screen. Later.